everybody. Welcome back to the trailer. Didn't I promise to give you a Christmas trailer tour during the autumn trailer tour a few weeks back? I like to mush everything together. That doesn't mean that I watch movies like Christmas with the Cranks for months before December 1st. I wait till December 1st. That's why everything magically went up this morning. I would never play music in October, ever. And the rest of the trailer decor and the displays inside, which I will show you soon, they've all been there too. Uh, only for three hours because it's December 1st. <laughs> Instead of giving you an entire trailer tour at once, I decided to break it into small chunks so I can light everything better and really spend time showing you different decorations and stuff because that's the kind of YouTube videos uh, nerds like me like to watch. So hopefully there's a few more of you out there. After my haul I'm about to show you, I will give you a more in-depth tour of the bedroom and the decorations you see. My Disney Pass recently expired. It's been 16 years since I haven't had a Disney Pass, but there are seasons in life when you must give a few things up. But that's all right. Some of these things I got earlier in the year, but 80% or so are very recent holiday purchases. Some I haven't even unwrapped yet. And some I'm gonna hang in the garland right behind me, so let's get started. So going back to one of those prior purchases, and as you'll see in one of the upcoming December videos, I have a bit of a obsession <laughs> with Small World, the aesthetics, now the 60s stuff just seems old-fashioned. So this is a little mug and it has this adorable set of feet around the bottom which forms sort of a clover leaf. A little heart inside, the little kids, even on the inside rim it says it's a small world and has more 60s Mary Blair kitschy decorations. But I'll link it below. Oh, Disney bags! I also have a collection of Disney bags going back to 1995. <laughs> For preteens like myself, who don't have their ears pierced, they just look like the old-fashioned Mickey gummy candy you used to be able to buy. Their little clip-on earrings. Well, if I do wear them, I'll probably put them straight back on the card because I think they look so... Just my 90s childhood fantasy right there. Mm. They're not painful, I just have really fat earlobes. There's two sets, and they're all sparkly. Blue hearts, green Mickeys, fuchsia har uh, roses, hara -ha roses, orange buttons, lime green buttons, love, orange buttons, neon green buttons, and then pink Mickeys. Okay, on to the holiday stuff. These are for Thanksgiving. Now I have a very large pin collection from those aforementioned 16 years of Disneyland passes, but I took most of them off my, the cards like a stubborn child, but they look so good on the card. And the cards used to be black velvet, but they don't do that anymore. Anyway, Chip and Dale. I love the loincloth. Then one of my favorite pins of all time. More on the It's a Small World issue. It's such a joke with men. It, it's just, I know it's their nightmare, but it's not like I sit around listening to the music all the time. I just really, really love what they do at Christmas. This one has the little Mary Blair clock face, and it actually moves. I don't know if I would have picked to put it on the burgundy card. Just saying, Disney, because you're listening. It's real monotone. I remember in the 90s, Small World used to be all different colors, and then they went through sort of a blue and white phase, and now they're sort of... Is it white now? Gosh, I don't know. I think it's all white now, which looks really nice with all the Christmas lights. It's the only place in the park where they still use incandescent lighting at Christmas, but the merchandising looks really cute in dual tone blue. I think I'll call this a mini haul because there really isn't that much here like I thought. It just seems like a lot when you're buying it. I want to show you this. If you're wondering about the sweater I'm wearing, it is not an ugly Christmas sweater. It is a beautiful Christmas sweater. I bought it from a lady on Etsy and I'll see if I can link her down below. Her mom knit it for her in the 80s. I don't know how she could part with it. I absolutely love it. So maybe I'll have to send her mom this video. Smokey the Bear, Smokey the Bear. I really wanted a new hoodie for improv. I've worn it a couple of times, hence the shedding. But I got this over in California Adventure in the new area. 
where they have soaring over the world instead of soaring over California now. And it's the softest hoodie. And I confess, Disney, cover your ears. I looked for it online to see if I could get it for cheaper because I'd wanted it for about a year. I could not find a red Smokey the Bear hoodie anywhere. There's lots of army green ones that don't zip, all monotone. There's nothing on the back, so it's not too much. In fact, I wore this through a whole class the other day and my students, my students, I don't have students. My cast, my improv cast didn't notice till the last minute that there was even Smokey on there because I had it slightly unzipped and he just kind of peeks out. I actually have someone in my cast named Smokey, so it's really funny. Well, that's his nickname. Hi, Smokey, if you're watching. <laughs> I doubt it, but... Kind of digging this lighting. <laughs> my profile picture on Facebook is like that. I've got to get rid of it. People must think I'm so arrogant. I'm not a snob. I love people too much. Okay, I digress. So finally, dum da 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 The Christmas moments. I'm not sure who is in who. Which is in which? That's a hint. There's people in here. I'm very grateful to the lady in California Adventure who wrapped these individually, because sometimes I'll pick out an ornament or a figurine and they'll pull one out already wrapped. As someone in retail, I'm very patient about opening up packaging for people to inspect individual hand-painted items, so thank you. Oh, it's a ribbon. Let's do this so you can see. Donald, wait for it. Isn't that sweet? They had several characters. I really also want the dopey one. But the ornaments have gone up a little. They're $20 now. And I understand the handmade part. But I didn't realize when I got up to the register, like $40. And I'm like, wow. They had also Daisy. They had Mickey and Minnie. They had the person in the bag I'm not going to show you just yet. And they had Dopey. Donald's a little elf here. He has a screwdriver. Because he's making toys. You don't need to look at the price tag right by his face. I love the colors. His little red boots. Great artwork on the face. I'm going to put Donald on the garland behind me. Oh, I'll have to cut off the tags first. Do I have scissors out here? Yes, I do. Excellent. I've been waiting to put them in here since I put these garlands up two weeks ago. I mean this morning, because it's December now. And I'm a respectable adult. And finally, Goofy! I don't have a lot of Goofy things in my real normal life, but to me Goofy just screams Christmas because of that skiing cartoon, A Goofy Lesson in the Art of Skiing, and he has a hammer because he is also an elf. I hope this has gotten you excited for your next Disneyland shopping trip, if you're a SoCal native or if you come to visit the parks during Christmas. All right, now I'm gonna turn the mic off and give you a little tour of the bedroom and a close up on my snow globe toy red and green garland. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.